What's going on guys, Demon Asylum here. I'm going to be showing you all how to do the Borderlands 2 GPD mods for Xbox users that I posted a video of about a day or two ago. As I said in that video, the tutorials for doing it on PS3 and Xbox 360 are totally different. I said that doing it on Xbox was easier, therefore that tutorial was going to come first. The PS3 users, don't, uh, don't freak out guys. I did say in that video I was going to post a tutorial for you as well. It'll hopefully be up before or by this weekend. And uh, then you guys will be able to do these mods as well. Until then, if any of you PS3 users have any questions or concerns about these mods, feel free to post a comment down below. And of course, if you guys haven't seen my video showing the actual GPD mods, then I'll have a link to it in the description and possibly an annotation on the screen. But without further ado, uh, let's get started, Xbox users. I'm going to show you how to do this. Alright, so obviously with most mods I've done before, in the case where you have to either transfer a game save or a GPD over to your profile and your Xbox hard drive, you're either going to need one, a transfer cable, which is a cable that you know was originally created by Microsoft, um, and you can get from them uh, their brand. And one end plugs into the USB port of your computer, and the other end will plug into your hard drive. Now, if you have one of the newer uh, Xboxes with the newer hard drives, the Connect uh, versions or the Slim Xboxes, whatever you want to refer to them as, then using a transfer cable will be a little difficult. Won't really work out at all. <laughs> Unless you're someone like me and, and takes apart a hard drive and all this other crap, which in most cases you guys probably won't do that. So if you're someone who doesn't have one of the original hard drives or just doesn't have a transfer cable or can't get one, then your next best bet and the easier way to go about it is just using a USB drive. Now make sure you have the USB drive configured with your Xbox and to of course configure a USB drive with your Xbox. I believe it has to be at least four, four gigs, I believe. Um, I might be wrong, <laughs> but you guys can figure that out for yourselves, of course. But, aside from needing either a USB drive configured with your Xbox or a transfer cable to plug your hard drive into your computer, you're also going to need the program Horizon or Modio. If you know what you're doing as far as, you know, all of the moving files over from your computer to your hard drive, then you can use Modio. But I recommend, if you don't know exactly what you're doing with this, that you just follow along with me getting Horizon. I'll have links to Horizon and the Borderlands 2 GPD editor, which you will also need. I'll have links to both of these in the description. You'll have to either install or update Horizon, depending on if you already have it or not, um, or maybe you already have the latest version because you use it quite a bit. I don't know, but you will need it. Once you have Horizon downloaded and installed all that good stuff, and you've downloaded the Borderlands 2 GPD editor in the... Uh, dot rar uh, version that it is right now <clears throat> you're going to need something to extract it and i have winrar which is the type of file that this is in right now if you guys don't have a program that you can you know extract with then i recommend getting winrar it's very simple it's it's free and everything and of course when you have a program to do so you're just going to want to choose to extract here when you do that you're going to get a folder and it's going to be called the same thing pretty much as this it's going to be bl2 gpd editor version 2.1.0.0 i'll have uh, credits to who made this program in the description and uh, once you have that you can get rid of the actual zip file here rar file whatever you want to call it and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up horizon and if you're on windows vista or 7 possibly 8.2 you may have to uh, or you're going to have to run as an administrator i don't know about windows 8 but i do know for windows Vista and 7, you need to run as an administrator in order for your USB drive and or your hard drive via transfer cable connection um, to be recognized. <clears throat> so we'll give that a second to open up here. Once it's opened up, you're going to want to come over here and click on Device Explorer. And down here you should see this bar loading up and it's going to load your hard drive. Give it a sec because it's obviously taking... There we go. Okay, so as you can see, I have my hard drive connected with a transfer cable. If you guys are using a USB drive, it'll either say USB drive or flash drive, or you might have a name for it. It might pop up with the name if you have one uh, on it. And what we're going to want to do from here is we're going to want to go to Gamer Profiles, and you're going to want to go to the profile that you, uh, that you are going to want to use to do the mods on. And just so you guys are aware, this profile, this profile, and this profile, those are not mine. Uh, Reckless Rob, Big67, Rob, and Godmonic, those are not my profiles, those are friends of mine. Uh, the profiles that I use on Xbox Live are either Chaos Asylum or Demon Asylum. Demon Asylum HD is also an online profile, but I don't usually use it. And Dusk Asylum is also a silver profile. Um, these two are silver profiles. 
Uh, I don't use either of these. I use Demon Asylum and Chaos Asylum. So disregard all the other profiles if you guys are looking to know, you know, who to, what uh, Xbox Live profiles to message me on or send me friend requests on, stuff like that. It would be either Chaos Asylum or Demon Asylum. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, once you see the profile that you want to do the mods for, you're going to want to drag it over to Horizon. And next, what you're going to want to do is come over to Contents, and you're going to want to look for a certain GPE file. And I'll tell you what it is here when I find it in a second. Right here, you're going to want to find 545487c.gpd. This is the file that you're going to want to find. And you're going to want to right-click it and choose to extract it. And you're going to... Oh, excuse me, sorry, you're going to want to extract it right to your desktop. It'll say file extracted successfully, and now you can minimize this. What you're going to want to do here is, a good idea is to make a folder and just call it original GPD. It's just making a copy of it, so you can just choose to copy your GPD. And it's pretty much just, you know, a backup is all it is in case you mess up or something messes up with the program somehow. Uh, you at least have a backup that you can put back to have all your original stuff. From here what you're going to want to do is open up the folder of the Borderlands 2 GPD editor and you're just going to want to double click it. You do not have to run it as an administrator. When it opens up it's going to be a pretty straightforward program and actually I, I actually messed up here. You're also going to want to make sure that you extract your profile to the desktop and in order to do that you just left click on your profile and just drag it right over to the desktop and I'll show you why you had to do that in a second. Should only take a second to do that and you do not have to make a backup. You do not have to uh, put this in a separate folder and make a backup of it because this file is not being altered any way whatsoever. It's just for the sake of the GPD uh, being able to be correctly modded. So what we're going to want to do is click on File and we're going to click on Open. <clears throat> and it's going to be looking for that GPD file that has the same name as uh, your Borderlands 2 GPD. And you're going to want to double click it. And then after that, it's going to want you to open up a second file, and that's going to be your actual profile. And now, as you guys can see, I have a lot of my stuff modded already. This is uh, everything that I have for <coughs> the uh, profile and character that I used in my video a day or two ago. If you guys want to make everything as good as it can, you can set it just to set everything to uh, 9999999. Nine, <laughs> What was it? Yeah, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna want to make everything like seven nines. You can just do that, and it's gonna it's gonna auto set it to this after you click away from it. It'll auto set it to that. So you can just copy one, and then you can just come and you can left click and then choose to paste, left click paste, and we'll just come down here and do all this fast. It literally just takes like a minute to get all these done here. It's pretty straightforward for most uh, for most everything here. And then of course once you have all those done modded to the way you want them, up here you have badass tokens and golden keys. Again, if you want your badass tokens to the max, just uh, do the same thing. Just paste in um, all the nines, or actually <laughs> in that case you wouldn't paste that in. Just paste in uh, seven nines, which would be uh, 9,999,999 and then you'll get the max badass tokens that you would even need. You don't even really need badass tokens considering you have all of your uh, bonus stats maxed out now so honestly you're, you're probably better off just putting zero but it doesn't make a difference. As for golden keys just copy the number from here the the seven nines and just paste them in and when you do that it'll auto set your golden keys to the max amount that it can actually have and that's 65,025 all of these golden keys can be used, and of course, all of these bonus stats will um, actually, you know, change how your character is and everything, how strong he is, and and its health and everything. All of this stuff will carry over to online. And so, when you have everything modded to the way you want it, you're just going to want to come up here and left-click File and choose Save, and it'll say GPD data saved. And at this point, we can exit out of the GPD editor, and we can come back to Horizon. And right now we can delete your profile. You do not need that anymore. You do not need to put your profile back. You can use the same one that's already in here. You're going to want to come over here back to your contents. And you're just going to want to come and find where uh, where the GPD file was. Again, 545487C. And you're going to want to right click on that and choose insert new file. Or actually, no, sorry, not insert new file. You're going to want to choose your place. Do not choose insert new file, choose your place. I'm thinking of something totally different. So from here, you're going to want to choose, uh, like I said, you're going to want to replace the file, and you're going to want to double-click on the new modded GPD file. 
Just double click it. And it'll say file replaced successfully. And now we can come over and we can just hit save, rehash, and resign. It may take a minute to do it depending on how big your profile is or how many changes you made to the GPD file. When it's done, it'll say save, rehashed, and resigned to device. Just click OK. I usually do it twice just to make sure that's me being precautious and everything. <clears throat> and once that's done, you're pretty much good to go. After that, you can get on uh, Borderlands 2, and you can get on any character, and all of them will have the same bonus stats that you just modded. Obviously, no matter what character you're on, you'll have all those golden keys, all those badass tokens, and all those bonus stats. Everything will be modded as you did them. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Sorry for the, the uh, for the little mess ups here and there where I accidentally started to tell you <laughs> you needed to do one thing when you really needed to do another. Um, but thankfully, I, I fixed those mistakes, and hopefully, you guys were able to follow along clearly with what I told you you needed to do. If you guys have any questions or concerns about this tutorial or anything else to do with this video, please be sure to post about it in the comment section below, or feel free to hit me up on my Facebook or Twitter. Links to both of those are always in the top of the description of my videos. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. PS3 users, the tutorial for you guys will be coming hopefully by this weekend. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for many more videos to come. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.